and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got our 1030 content. And as per usual, EA does not have their 1030 content. Luckily for you guys, I happen to know a good amount of the players, at least the players you care about. But as per usual, EA is not releasing it at the normal time, and they don't even have pictures of it. So I'm gonna go over what I can with you guys here. I know the LTDs, I know the, I know the heroes, I know everything, and I know I know a good amount of the set pieces that you guys might have actually cared about. I actually got four of I got at least from this list, I got four of my predictions correct yesterday, which is pretty awesome for our first time actually predicting these cards. Now, guys. You know, it's getting really frustrating at this point with EA. I mean, come on. They said they're delayed because of the holidays or something like that. Like, I don't know. Maybe I heard wrong. Don't kill me if I heard wrong. But what holidays? Are there holidays? I mean, unless you call them a Veterans Day. But, like, they, that's their fault for coding the cards the day of. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this isn't the first time they made these mistakes. So, don't, don't give us that excuse. I mean, come on. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's every week. It's literally every single. I actually, actually have. There hasn't been one mistake on a daily basis since I started recording YouTube every day on this on this game. Like every single day, Mudhead doesn't work, which isn't their fault. But why am I using Mudhead? Because they the A doesn't work properly. You know, veteran sets not out, flashback sets not out. Never got a super fast set for the Halloween. Like there's just so much wrong lately. They're lucky I like YouTube and I love playing Madden on YouTube because otherwise it would really be killing this game for me, guys. I mean, you guys every day supporting me is what really keeps this going because otherwise, like, it's ridiculous. Legends late, no bundle in the store. Oh, no, their bundles are always in the store. I take that back. They oh, that's the funniest part. Their bundles are. They'll probably have their team of the week bundles out. No team of the week players yet. Always missing out on LTDs, putting out the wrong cards. Make rights after make rights, guys. But let's get into this video. I can't. I can rant all day. But guys, real quick before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. And boys, you guys came to play yesterday. You guys got over 100 likes in a flashback video. Can you guys get on a 10:30 content team of the week video? Can you get 200 likes? I don't think you guys can do it. But I challenge you. Can you? Every person watching right now, smash the like button. I don't know if you guys can do it again because yesterday was a, a wild on a flashback video. 100 likes. Everyone, you guys, I want to, the second this video goes out, I want to see like 20, 30, 40 likes just smashing up. So everyone like it. It'll be cool for me to see them flying up, guys. And make sure to comment down below what you guys think of these team of the week. So first card, one of the guys that I believe did get an upgrade that I did predict, or no, maybe I, did, I didn't predict this one. One guy that I did hear was Randall Cobb as a low set piece. So Randall Cobb, let's see what his last card is. He has a 80, 77 gold, so he'll probably have like an 84, maybe 85. He did have a pretty great game. I believe he had like, I know he had a touchdown, I believe, and like maybe 100 yards. He had a really great game. Him and Cooper went off in their games, respectively, obviously. Next card is a guy named, I believe, Eric Harris. Um, I hope I can spell his name right. I'll get to the set pieces, uh, the, the, top, the top pieces afterwards. I was saving the best for last. Yeah, I probably didn't spell it right. Guys, I don't even know who this guy is, but you guys probably know who it is. Now, the guy I care about. They said Slayton. Slayton is the rookie receiver for the Giants that I did actually put in my predictions video. I did say uh, that Slayton, Darius Slayton, will get a card. His last card that he had is a 67 overall rookie card. Now, as I went over with you guys, this card's pretty fast. So, he is pretty fast in real life. So, I imagine that this card of his will probably have like an 89 to 90 speed. Depending on if they gave him a low or higher set. Probably like an 88 to a 90 speed. He'll probably be a decent route runner, decent catching. Not, nothing crazy, but he will have some great speed. He has shown a decent rap, um, a decent chemistry with... Daniel Jones this year, pretty great. I mean, obviously, people have been injured, so we don't really know yet. As a Giants fan, I'm pretty excited that he's looking pretty good. But am I that excited for the lower set pieces as per usual? If he has good speed, maybe. Lately, they haven't really given us some great low set pieces that are good for budget teams. Hopefully, Slayton is one of them that we can finally use. Now, as one of the top set pieces that I did put in my prediction video, the defensive hero is Minka Fitzpatrick. Now, as I told you guys, Mick Fitzpatrick would be getting a card. I, I was part of my predictions. He was my defensive hero choice. Now, his last card, if I'm right, is an 84 overall team of the week. So, this card already had good speed, good play rec, good excel. So, he's going to be really athletic. His new card is going to be like a 92 overall or 91 overall. And he's going to have probably a 90 speed. Probably going to be a 90 speed free safety, which is pretty awesome because we, at the moment, do not really have that fast of a free safety in the game. He's also going to have decent hit power and I believe good zone. Now, as it looks from this card, he's really athletic with not that great of like well-rounded after that. So this his new card will probably have like a 90 speed, 90 excel, 90 play rec. 
and then his hit power probably like an 83 and his zone probably like an 86 87 so that's not the greatest stuff it all depends on where they put him right if they put this minka fitzpatrick within threshold powering up range he'll be an awesome card right because with that i could get him to his zone threshold maybe a little bit higher hit power play rec threshold but if they do not give him the proper stats to be chemmed up and properly put together this card won't be great it all depends right if he has above 90 speed and he can get the zone threshold this card could be great but if he does not you're gonna have to rock with brian dawkins right because think about it if minka can't get the zone threshold or the hit power threshold brian dawkins will be one or two less speed one or two less with three less excel way better tackling similar play rec He's going to have way better pursuit, similar man, and then way better zone hit power. So Minka will get killed by Brian Dawkins. If, but if Minka can get it, he'll be probably a more athletic Brian Dawkins. But I doubt they'll give him it. I doubt he gets a plus 15 to hit power and a plus 12 to zone coverage. Although it is a much higher overall card, I highly doubt it. Next card, the Offensive Hero, which I feel like they're going to botch this card because it just seems like it just it reeks of botch right here. Derek Henry, one of the medius linebackers in the nfl huge guy huge huge guy it's kind of scary when you i don't know if you guys ever watched titans games you see this guy in the backfield i would be scared to tackle him he looks huge he's like six foot three i believe or six foot two yep six foot three so he has an 86 flashback right now he's gonna go up to a 92 now knowing the knowing ea they're going to give him a slow speed so they'll probably give him like an 87 speed if this car gets an 89 speed he'll be pretty good but i think he'll give him actually, let's go with 88 he'll probably have an 88 speed 87 excel seven maybe like an 83 agility Probably like a 95 carrying, really good carrying. Gonna have bad catching, probably 75 elusiveness. His trucking though, I believe his truck, chemmed up and powered up this card should have. If this card is done right, he could potentially have a 90 truck, an 88 break tackle, a 90 speed and 90 excel. With those stats, he would be quite comparable in some aspects to Saquon Barkley, minus the agility obviously. He'll have similar speed, similar excel, better trucking, similar break tackle. Obviously, I'll take Saquon every day of the week because Saquon's way more agile, has better excel, he's going to have better catching, better elusiveness, and better break tackle. So it's a no-brainer that I'd obviously take Saquon over him, but in my opinion, Derrick Henry as a hero is pretty awesome, although I know they're not going to give him the right stats. I already can see it. Imagine 87 speed. If they give him a, if they give him a 90 speed straight off the rip, he could be a pretty good car because if you power up and come up, could get him to like a 92 speed. But that's if, if we can trust the 8 to do that. And now, boys, what you guys been waiting for? The LTD. The guy that I actually did predict. I predicted this guy, not as the LTD, but I did predict him as the offensive hero. But I did tell you guys that one of these guys would either get the LTD or the offensive hero. Could have been both. And that is Christian Kirk. Now, Christian Kirk, wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals, has been hurt for quite some time this year. Uh, I think he pulled his hamstring or hurt his knee or something like that. And he was one of the main targets of Kyler Murray. Kind of lost him for a while. He came back a week or two ago, and their chemistry is like on fire. I believe last week he had like three touchdowns, 156 yards. Right now, he has 82 speed, 76 jumping, bad route running, bad catching. But in real life, he's speedy as hell. He's very quick. He's a pretty good route runner and a pretty good catcher. I envision that his, his 93 limited time car will probably have like a 91 speed. They have to, right? All, a lot of his touchdowns are burning, burning, burning downfield, burning past people. Probably 91 speed, 86 jumping. I'll give him catching stats across the board. I'll probably, they'll probably give him like 86s across the board. I don't envision it being much higher because it's not like he made any crazy, crazy catches like that. And I know EA, if they give him a fast speed, they won't give him a crazy catch. He'll probably like 86s across the board on catching. And his route running will probably be like an 87, 85, and like an 83. His deep route running will probably be like a 90. And then his medium will probably be like an 86. And his short probably be like an 84. I think that's kind of what we can expect from a Christian Kirk card. Would, he be, would I recommend getting him? No. Will he have a power up? No. So I don't think he'll be great. Just by looking at him, you can already tell. He'll be quick. It's so sad. We already know how EA likes to rate their cards. We're going to come back to this video tomorrow so we can go check out how close I was in the rankings. I'll probably even clip it in, obviously, because that's going to be hilarious. I, th I truly think he'll have 91 speed, 86 jumping, and then he's going to have like 86 catching across the board. Maybe, maybe, just maybe his catching will be a little bit higher because he's a great possession catcher, great rack. But, and let's see, does he have any after the catch stats that I should be worried about? Let's see, let's see. He does, he does have a juke move. Okay, so his juke move will probably be like an 87. Probably like an 87 juke move and like an 80 ball carry vision, which won't be horrible. But again, that does not make him a card worthwhile getting at his price tag. Now, if they do botch his speed, right? They give him like an 88 speed. Expect this card to be 400K. If they get his speed right and he is a good looking card, expect it. If his speed's at least right, if his speed's just right, he'd be like 800K. If his speed's bad, like an 87, 88, It'll be like 500, 400, 300k, depending on the price and depending on the other stats on the card. Guys, that is about it for the video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Like I said, I challenge you guys to get 300 likes on this video. Can you guys do it? You guys killed it yesterday. I was in shock when I saw, like, I was, when I posted my video, I was just, I was swiping up. My likes were flying up, guys. Can you make that happen again? I'd greatly appreciate it if you could. And by the way, guys, thank you so much for all the support. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.